Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I will show you how to create this nice slider animation here inside of Webflow. We are actually going to trick the Webflow designer in order to make this work and we are going to use a little custom code snippet, only two lines of code. I will leave it in the description so that you can just grab it for your project and don't have to write the CSS yourself. Without further talking, let's start right away. Alright, so I just opened up a Webflow project and I'm going to build this whole section from scratch so that you don't miss any steps and you can just build along with me. So the first thing here is that I'm going to just set up the basic, the core structure and I'm gonna start by adding a div block. This menu here, um, you can open this um, with the Control e shortcut on the keyboard and then here we'll just um, add a class here, section, slider slider no typos here and then inside of the section slider we're going to add another div block and this time the div block will have the class page padding and this just adds padding on both sides here then another div block and this will have the container small class which is which is just the container that I'm using in this build and then div block and this will be the padding vertical xx large so we have a little bit more space and now uh, we're going to add the webflow slider and we're the first thing that we're going to do here for this is to just name the classes how we want them to be named so i'm just going to go ahead and start by naming this here slider underscore component and I'm going to copy this with the word slider to my clipboard since I'm going to use this a couple of times now. And here, slider underscore mask. Uh, slider underscore slide. Then we're just going to apply this here too. Then this will be the slider underscore um, arrow link and I'll just um, copy this class also for here and here I'll set up a combo class already for right and then for these here I'll I'll deal with these here later and then this here will be the slider underscore slider nav and I'm going to just hide this right away because we won't need this. Again, I'll just copy the word slider to my clipboard. And here, um, we can start styling it. So the first thing that I'll do <laughs> is to just set this to transparent because we don't want this here. And then the next thing will be to add content inside of the slides here. And this will, yeah, we'll just add a diff block here. And this div block here will have the class. Wait, uh, this div block here will have the class slider underscore content wrapper. And inside of this slider underscore content wrapper, um, I think we'll just have a padding here on both sides. You'll see why later. And also a top top border one pixel like this and then inside of this we'll just have a heading I'm going to go for heading 3 and additionally uh, we're also going to place a, a div block and inside this div block we're going to place a paragraph nice so here this div block here we're going to name this um, slider underscore paragraph wrapper that's the element that the interaction that we're going to set up later is going to tackle and yeah so this is basically what our um, slide will look like and then here these are in our way currently but let's deal with that later let's remove a little bit of text here like uh, it's a little bit difficult because these arrows are in our way so we'll just go ahead and style these first move them so we're going to use position absolute and here I'll just go ahead and type in minus 
or actually minus 15% I guess and then this year I'll just place like that here so that's here and then I will make it minus 15% on this side too and now they're overlapping like this so we're just going to add a top percentage of something like 30 or even 40% and now we're also going to style these um, so I'll just set a width of 3 rem and also a height of 3 rem for each of these and I'll add a background color of background white smoke I will make the I will make it a circle by just setting the border radius to 50% and then I will have a border here like this and currently it's not looking great and that's because we still have these icons here I don't really like the webflow icons so the thing that we're going to do is that we're going to place embeds here for icons if you don't know how to create icon embeds um, then just watch my last video or I don't know if it was my last video but I'll leave the link in the description below um, so that you can learn this too because it's really helpful so inside of this here I'm going to place an embed you can also just use an image for these icons if you want to and I'm just going to copy the embed code for a second nice explanation is in my last video I guess um, so yeah I'm just going to move this inside of this here and then I'm going to set this to flex so that it centers the embed and then the embed will have the oh <laughs> I still have the embed in my, in my clipboard this will be the slider underscore arrow icon I'll set the typography color to black and that's actually the best thing that it allows you to do this SVG embeds because I can now just change the color of this icon by changing the typography color and here I'll just set the width to 1.5 rem and also the height to 1.5 rem and I'll um, choose flex uh, center so that it's actually centered here so this looks great here and I'll just copy this inside of my other link to but now the thing is that it's also uh, that it's uh, points in the wrong direction so i'll just uh, copy the embed for um the other um arrow nice um i have the embed here i'll just select everything paste and nice so now we have the arrow pointing in a different direction here actually i think that we have a top uh, border only but we don't want this so this was kind of a mistake here now it's for all sides this looks better okay so we have our arrow set up but now let's actually move on to this part here slide um, so an important thing like a mechanic that normally makes it a little bit difficult to have the mat have the items vertically here like the slides vertically is that you can't apply flex vertical on a flag on a mask uh, it just the webflow designer doesn't allow you to do this but now comes the real trick because the trick is to just have a diff block I'll just add some random diff block here and then I'll give it the class of slider mask slider mask and here I actually can set it to flex vertical and now as you can see now the items are here on top of each other but the thing is that, um, like, let me just grab this, uh, grab this slide here and remove this slide here, so, and then just copy it a couple of times. Nice. Um, so now it only shows two at the moment, but we can just uh, show more items by setting the overflow to visible here on the slider mask. And yeah so this is how it would look like for now but now still if we click these here it will just um, move ver uh, move horizontally because this is a webflow base uh, style for sliders it works with transform so we're going to need an embed for just one line of CSS I'll leave the CSS in the description once again in the video description so that you can just use it for your build and I'm just going to add an embed here um, and inside of this embed I'm just going to paste a code, the code snippet again 
Oh wait. Okay, so I got the code snippet and I'm going to paste it here. It's uh, uh, currently targeting the slider slide class here, which um, if you change the slider slide class name, you'll also have to change it up here clearly so that it targets the right class. And basically it will just set the transform to none so that it um, doesn't move when you click the arrows here. And the important just overrides the web flow base value. So now if we click this here, it won't move. So our slider is currently broken. And that this is uh, just what we want because for our structure here, um, we don't need this. So we're going to add an interaction now. And this is the like um, what will give it the look that we want to um, it to have. Sorry. <laughs> and here, actually, for sliders, uh, we're currently on the slider slide item. You have a another option here, which is slider change. So we're going to add an animation here when the slider is in view, which will be slider in view. And here we're just going to select our paragraph wrapper because we want to target this class for the animation and we're going to set the size initially here by clicking this you select the initial state um, you can just set the height to zero pixels which will look really weird right now because we don't have it set to overflow hidden so we'll just do this um, right after applying these values here and the width uh, should be 100% and then the animation should be that it uh, grows when you when it when the slider comes into view so we have the duration of 0.4 seconds here and i'll add a out quart easing here and the width will be still 100% but now the height will be automatic so that it just folds up like this um, nice um all right, so we have this here, but for, as I said, we'll set the overflow to hidden here so that it is in the initial state, it won't um, show the content, it won't overlap. And then we'll also um, have an animation when the slider is out of view. So here we're just going to duplicate this, uh, the slider in view animation, but we're going to delete the initial state and instead here, we're just going to set the height back to zero so that it's hidden again. And don't forget to apply the animation to the class actually and also don't forget to select it. Apply the animation to the class here so that every single slide will be targeted because if I only have this on the element then these slides are not being um, they just don't have the animation, so I'd have to apply them individually. But now, as you can see, it's already working here. So, like, um, the initial state is... No, it's just hidden, the text here, um, for the other slides. And now, if I, if I click this arrow here, then the next slide will open. Um, the text will be revealed. And this will create this nice look here. We're not moving anything, we're just letting the content grow. Yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. It's working perfectly. It's uh, really smooth and also satisfying. Nice. I hope this tutorial helped you out and you were able to learn a lot from it. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to leave a like. And if you don't want to miss any new Webflow tutorials on my channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. If you have any questions, related to Webflow or this tutorial or whatever, then feel free to ask in the comments, I will reply. See you soon and have a nice day.